So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on our engagement and digital champion programme that we've been doing. So we have a digital champion programme with about 60 digital champions at the moment. They represent a wide range of parishes from across both Cheshire East, Cheshire West, um, and one or two in Warrington and Holton. Um, they've been attending various local events and have been successfully using our digital champion toolkit which contains some surveys that you can go out and do in your local areas and um, leaflets and further information so you can actually go out there and start talking to people about raising the awareness and the fact that this technology could help your local areas um, we're also working on a business community engagement program so that businesses can start to see why they might need the technology how it might help them um, going forward and we've been doing a rebranding exercise so we've recently rejigged our website so hopefully it flows a little bit better now and um, we've got a easier access for registering your demand so you can see it as soon as you log on to our website now there's a button that you can click to register your demand so we're hoping it works a bit better for you um, I just wanted to put this slide in. Um, it was a recent slide from our value and impact study that Julian mentioned. And I think it's quite important because it shows that um, the job creation in rural, semi-rural and urban areas over the next 15 years from super fast broadband. Um, this is just one reason why we're running a digital champion programme really because if we can get that many jobs in rural areas, it's quite an important thing that could bring new jobs into your local communities. So we need to start raising the awareness that um, super fast broadband can help sustain villages, it can help bring services to your local area that you wouldn't normally have access to. So in terms of what can be done, we're running, we're running this digital champion programme um, we have a digital champion toolkit which you can access if you email us at the info at connectingcheshire.org.uk um, the website with the email address will be on the slide in a minute um, that contains surveys, leaflets, information so you can have a read through, you can ask us any questions around that um, there's an element of raising the, awareness of the raising awareness of the technology in your local areas um, some communities are going out and trying to upscale local people in their areas, so that could just be as simple as including um, the courses that are running at your local library and putting it into your parish magazine. Or you might find that you want to, you've got someone who's quite good at a certain website and wants to show other people how to use Facebook, for example. So you could run an event in your local parish area so that other people can learn how to use different websites. Um, some of our communities are building a bit of a business case, so they're collecting information. Some of it is from past surveys where they've gone out and done parish plans and they're just create, collecting and rewording what they've already done before, just to build up this idea of a business case to show that there is a demand in your local area for this technology. Um, other people are adding it into their parish plans if it's not already in there. Um, there's a need to highlight, uh, there's a need for demand registrations via our website. So there is a few paper copies that were over by the teas and coffees uh, for those of you that can't access the internet. Uh, but there is a demand registration form on our website. We've got a, over 700 registered at the moment from all over the place. Um, and we can then map how many people are registering in your areas and show a growing demand or not. Um, so our digital champions are going out and telling people about that. Um, there's the DEFRA's Rural Community Broadband Fund, which has recently opened for bids. So some people are interested in looking at how they can go through that process and, claim, and get some funding. And also, um, some of our digital champions want to be involved in the Northern Marches Leader Study, which is kind of why we're here today. So it's about what opportunities we can find together to um, look at what chances there are to get broadband in your local areas. So just in, a, in summary really, um, super fast broadband is critical for growth and the sustainability of villages, especially in rural areas, the creation of jobs. 
Um, there's a strategic programme in place like Julian was mentioning, but it's only going to go so far, and then we have our other areas that are more ha harder to reach. Um, and there's various ways that you can help raise awareness of the technology in your local areas as a digital champion. Um, we do have an event which is a date for your diaries. Um, it's a full digital champion event on the 22nd of June in the afternoon at Northwich Memorial Hall. Um, it's going to give an update so far and look to develop what everybody's been doing so far. So a bit of a sharing. So if you'd like further information, our email address is on the top there. So if you want to be added to our mailing list, um, you'll get an up a digital champion update um, and also the, our website is on there if you'd like to register your demand. And I've also put Julian's email address if you have any questions for him. I'll try my best to answer. <laughs> and that's it for me. I can hand over.